welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah and I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. Today I'm going to show you how to make this loop stitch. Now this loop stitch is all about adding some texture to the yarn um, while you're knitting. So it's not a special yarn that already has these loops in it. You're creating them with the yarn that you choose. So what I have here is a merino mohair mix and I've created these loops as I'm knitting. I'm going to show you how I did that. So to start with, I have put 14 stitches on my needle and I've knitted the first row. We're going to carry on from here and this is the row which I will create these loops. So you're going to use your thumb while you're knitting to create these loops. If you hold your yarn in your right hand, you're going to use your left thumb. And it may well be easier if you use your left hand to create, to um, hold the yarn. It may well be easier for you to use your right hand thumb. You experiment and see what you think. But if you hold your yarn in your right hand like I do, then just see how it goes for you, just following exactly as I do. Okay. Let's start, shall we? So I'm going to knit the first stitch and now I'm going to knit into the second stitch but I'm not going to drop it off of the left hand needle. I'm going to move the right hand needle to the back again just to create a bit of tension and then I'm going to move the working yarn to the front of the needle. That yarn then goes around my thumb which creates the loop. The yarn goes to the back of the right hand needle again and I knit that same stitch for a second time and this time I do drop it off the left hand needle. Now we've created two stitches from one by knitting that twice with the loop in between. So we need to move it back to one stitch which means I'm now going to pick up that first stitch that we knitted and drop it over the second one. So we now have two stitches on the needle, which is just perfect. So we carry on knitting. I'm going to knit the next stitch and then I'll make another loop in the next one. So I knit it. I don't drop it off of the left hand needle. I move my needle to the back. I bring the yarn to the front, wrap it once around my thumb. Yarn goes to the back. I knit that stitch again. Do drop it off the needle this time. And then I reduce the stitch count. So instead of two, need, two stitches in that one stitch, I slip that first stitch over and there you go. We have the right number of stitches again and we now have two loops. I'm going to knit the next stitch. So there's always one stitch in between the loops. It just means that it's less fussy and it actually looks quite even. So we've now knitted one. I'm going to create another loop. Yarn goes around. I don't pull that stitch off of the left hand needle. I move the stitch needle, the right hand needle to the back, yarn comes to the front, thumb goes around, oh, yarn goes around the thumb, yarn goes to the back again, knit the second stitch, knit the sec knit the stitch for the second time, drop it off this time, and then I reduce the stitch count by creating one stitch from those two. There we go, that's three loops. I'm going to carry on along this row. You just watch what I'm doing. One plain knitted stitch in between each loop. And always remembering to slip that first stitch over the second one knit stitch in between and another loop. So yes, this does take longer to knit than your average knit row, but it is so worth it. is creating this interesting texture, especially for a wintry knit like this. There we go. And I'm going to knit that stitch and then knit the last one. So we now have six loops 
over 14 stitches and I will knit the next row. So quickly come along here and then I'll show you what we do for the second row just to even it out. So there aren't too many loops vying for attention. So there's always a plain knit stitch, a knit row in between the loop rows. And now I'm going to just alternate it differently. So I'm going to knit one so we have a plain stitch at the end of the row. I mean, this is how you could actually create a loopy scarf, just go all the way along the length, just alternating between these four rows that I'm showing you here. So I knitted a row, I've done a first loop row, I've knitted a second row, and I'm now doing the second loop row. So I'm knitting the one at the end, and now I'm going to knit this one, which is where we had the loop in the first row. And now, where we had a plain knit stitch in the first loop row, I'm going to create the loop. So they're basically alternating as we go up what, like I say, could effectively be a scarf if you like. Or you can go to my website, find the um, pattern in the shop and actually make yourself a hat like this. Um, it's all there for you, ready when you want it. And I will link this tutorial to it so you can find out repeat and um, relearn if you want to once you've bought the pattern. There you go. That's easy peasy. I'm just zooming along here this time because I remember how to do it. But around the thumb and then reduce those stitches from two to one. And knit one. Create the loop. And reduce the stitches to one, knit one in between, create the loop, reduce the stitches to one, and there you go. That is the second row of loops. And you can see they're just slightly alternating, see them on an angle as they're sitting there across that piece of knitting. There you go. So that is how you do this. You just repeat those four rows and that will give you a great start like this to a hat. Or indeed, like I said, you can even create a whole scarf. And imagine if you just want to practice this stitch and just want to practice it again and again, just put, like I have 14 stitches on the needle, you can make one for a teddy bear. I love that kind of thing for practicing stitches. You can make your soft toys, all sorts of wintry knits in, with this type of um, pattern. Okay, there you go. That's a white mohair merino mix. So it's just a little bit soft and it is um, just slightly fluffy. And it's very, very wintry. Right, I'd love to see your hats when you create them. I'd love to see if you um, create, like I suggested, scarves for any of your teddy bears. Do join me again next week. I'll be back. And like I said, do go and have a look on my website for the hat pattern. I'd love to see you there. Bye for now. Happy knitting. Mm -hmm.